ever been curious what a brand new out school teacher makes a month? I'm gonna tell you. Total transparency, guys. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jillian. I am an online teacher and I also mentor and train and coach other online teachers to help them reach a certain level of success. If that kind of stuff interests you and you want to learn more about increasing your income working from home, make sure you hit subscribe because that's basically what I talk about on this channel. So at the end of May, you may have heard me talking about my application process and getting hired with this new company, OutSchool. So it isn't exactly new, but it was new to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call it new, new. I got hired and I started working with them a few days before June hit. So now that July has passed, I've got two full months of working for OutSchool under my belt. And I wanted to share with you what I taught, how long I worked, how many students I had, and exactly what I made each month. I want to be totally transparent with you because I know that when I was starting my process with OutSchool and when I was starting my process with Palefish, I really watched these videos a lot because I wanted to know what my possibilities were. So I know just from personal experience that these videos are really helpful, so that's why I'm giving this to you. Now, real quick, just a few quick disclaimers. In the month of June, I was only teaching one or two classes a week for like the first two weeks, maybe three weeks. I didn't want to overwhelm myself. I was still working for Palefish. In July, I increased my hours, but I'm still very, very part-time. So this is going to be a part-time income, but I'm also going to show how you can calculate it to talk about what your full-time income could be. But I also want to make sure that you understand that this is not a guarantee of what your income will be. You still have to work for it. You still have to learn, get yourself a mentor, get yourself a coach, learn about the process, learn how it all works. Your income is going to be determined by your skill and the effort that you put in. And that's very, very important important to know and understand before you go into anything really. So I'm going to be reading this off of a paper. You're going to see me looking down a couple times and that's why. Um, in June, I taught four different classes. I had an alphabet class, raising chickens, making a Father's Day card, and a class about adjectives. My most popular class was making a Father's Day card. Um, I taught a total of 35 students in 10 classes. Each class was a half hour long, so I totally just went back to look because it still didn't seem right to me. I had, I just had to double check my numbers before I said it. I'm like, wait, what? Okay, so each class was a half hour long. That means that I worked a total of five hours in the month of June. So remember, out school takes 30% of your income. So what I'm giving you, I'm not giving you the whole out school numbers. I'm giving you the numbers that I actually saw in my bank account. So 10 half hour classes, that means I work for five hours for the entire month of June. I made a total of, are you ready? Are you ready? $144.20 for five hours of work as a brand new teacher. And that breaks it down to $28.84 an hour. Not bad. So my highest paid class made me $42 for a half hour. In my lowest paid class, I only made $7 for a half hour. In July, I opened some more times, but it was still very, very part-time. I still am very, very part-time. I have a very strict schedule. If you are not aware, I am a single mother. I have three kids. One of them happens to be about 20 pounds and she is a walking tornado. So I simply cannot handle working full time. I wish I could, um, but I honestly can't because I literally have a miniature tornado running through destroying my house like all day long. So I listed a few more classes. I made some, I made some more classes and um, they were show and tell. I have three different weekly English classes, one about raising ducks, one about homesteading, um, a Mad Lib style class, and I taught 35 classes for a total of 18 hours. I only worked 18 hours in July. What do you think I made? Let's see if you're right. Okay, so all of my classes were 30, all of my classes were 30 minutes, except for the one. My homesteading class was an hour long. I only had one student in that class, so I made like, almost nothing off of that class because it was, an, I mean, like I still made money off of it, but, but I made um, $10.50, I think. I thought I wrote it down. I made, I think I made like $10.50 off of an hour long class. So I got paid $10 an hour basically for that class because I only had one student in it and I made it an hour long. 
I taught 140 students and my most popular class was about reading with a stuffed animal. Are you ready to see what I made? Okay, so for 18 hours, I made $735. That's an average of $40.83 an hour. It's not bad, right? So you may have seen some out of school teachers talking about how they make these astronomical numbers. I don't really think I've seen it on YouTube so much, but I've seen it in the forums. Like I've seen people chatting about it in the out of school Facebook groups and I've seen people talking like, hey, I've also seen it personally from, from classes that I have enrolled my daughter in. Like, oh my goodness, look how much money they're making off this class. Like look at the, like, the number of students that are in this class. So I've seen it personally, um, but I've heard about it a lot and I know a lot of teachers have been like really like, uh, yeah, that's not true. There's no way that's true. So I wanted to like break this down for you just so that you could understand like what it possibly could be if you were working full time. Okay, so if you were to work full time at the pay that I made for June, again, I wrote this down, you could be making $1,153.60 a week, and that would be $4,614.40 a month. If you were to work full time at what I was working in July, like for the hourly rate that I had for July, Somebody could be making $1,633.30 a week or, are you ready? $6,532.80 a month. Now, I don't work these hours because like I said, I cannot, like, I literally cannot sit here for 40 hours a week because I have so many responsibilities on my plate. I'm in my bachelor's, I'm in my master's degree program, I have children, I mentor, I coach, I have like a whole bunch of things on my plate, so I, pos I cannot possibly do that, but I wanted to show you what you could do if you put your mind to it. But, 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 here's the catch, the kicker, the whatever, I actually think that you'd be making more than that if you were to be working full time, and I'm going to tell you why. So in July, when I had that huge, huge pay, what I think it's huge pay anyways, I taught five classes that only had one student in it. So the, I, they weren't fully booked, they weren't even close to being fully booked. The minimum that I had set for it was three, but it's my personal policy that every student is important. And even if I only have one student in a class, I'm still going to teach that class. In July, one of my classes was an hour long class about homesteading that I totally had accounted for more students being in there. Um, I only listed it once. I had one student show up, so I had to spend an hour talking about something that I thought I was going to be talking to more kids about. And 11 of my classes only had two students in them. Again, not even like minimum booked because my minimum is set to three students, which basically means that the parents can expect you to cancel the class if the minimum isn't reached. But I put it right on my profile that it's my personal policy that I'm going to teach every child, even if there's only one student in the class. One of those under minimum book classes, I had a student that came back. She was a repeat student. And when she came back, she brought one of her friends. And then the next class, those two friends had another friend enroll. So from that one class that didn't have a lot of students in it, I got two new students out of it. And then all three of those students went and enrolled in a weekly class with me. So I'm teaching all three of those kids on a weekly basis. And then those three students <laughs> enrolled in another weekly class for the month of August. So that one student brought two new students in that are booking twice a week for August, September, and October because I have those classes open until like all the way through October. I have a 12% re-enrollment rate. So that means that 12% of my entire student body, they come back to me and take more classes. I don't know what the normal like average or like acceptable, I don't wanna say acceptable. I don't know like what you would want for a re-enrollment rate 
I'm gonna look into that. The higher, the better, obviously. I don't know what is considered good, but 12%, it did go up. You know, it, at first it was zero, <laughs> and now it's 12. So um, I'm interested in seeing how that goes, but just like take all that into consideration for a second. So that means that 12% of my students have booked another class. So if I were to increase my hours and keep that 12% re-enrollment rate, theoretically, say it happened, that's a lot more students. And if I were to increase these hours and still have that 12% re-enrollment rate, I've got more potential student referrals, more repeat students, more students that are taking multiple classes from me, and my numbers are going to be a lot higher, even, you know, even with like the same amount of hours that you're teaching, like each student is a potential repeat student. So I think like every month can kind of get a little bit better than the month before. But again, these are not solid numbers. This is just like my educated guess of where this could go. And I wanted to show you how these teachers that are boasting such high numbers, like how it's possible. Because I know like you hear these numbers and especially if you're like online teaching or maybe if you're even brick and mortar teaching and you're just like, um, th that doesn't sound possible to make from teaching. I wanted to show you like with my numbers that it's totally possible. I am floored. <laughs> I don't think that I can go 100% to out school and drop my pale fish students because I love my pale fish students and I really don't feel okay leaving them. And I can't really add any more hours than what I already have because like I said, I work from home, but I still have three kids I have to take care of. And I still have chickens that I have to take care of. I still have a lot of personal stuff that I don't even tell you guys about that I have to deal with. And it's just not in the cards. But for those of you who are, it is in the cards, just know that like really the sky's the limit here. If you are interested in applying it out school, my referral link is down below. And I also have a free workbook that I made for you if you are interested in becoming an out school teacher or if you're already an out school teacher. And it walks you through the process of how you can create your first class and create your first class in list it in a way and write it up in a way that's going to be marketable towards especially like homeschooling parents because they need certain criterias for their classes and how you can make your classes really stand out and set them up for success make sure you check that out the link is in the description box i hope this video helped you out i hope that it like maybe encouraged you to either apply for out school if you've been sitting on it or encourage you if you were just like, oh my gosh, there's, you know, I don't know, like if there's any possibility with it, like there's probably, you know, can I do this? Like you can totally do it, it's totally possible. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm a brand new teacher and I do not work that much. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, you can let me know by hitting that like button and clicking that subscribe button. And I will see you guys all in my next video.